there. Good evening. How are you tonight? Let's see if I can find us now. Are we live? There we are. There we are. Let me see if I can find us here. Come on. Trying to find us all the places. Hey, Linda. Good evening. How are you tonight? trying to get pull up everybody so I can see their comments. Hey Brenda. There's Cindy. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. There we go. I think I got everybody up now. <laughs> we'll see, right? Right? So um so anyway, tonight I was going to go ahead. I need to make a, a cone, a cemetery cone arrangement to go with this um, headstone saddle that we made in my workshop recently. And um, it's just a real basic um, cone arrangement. Like I said, it's, I, I wanted to make a matching set here. This will be sitting, at, you know, of course, at the side of the uh, headstone, and then this will be a top it. But um, that's what we're going to be doing tonight. Tis the season, right? Hey, Donna. Hey, Diane. Mandy, how are you tonight? Um, let me find all the questions. So tell me who all is out there tonight? Who is decorating a, a, a grave? For Mother's Day. I am fortunate that I have my mom. Actually, my husband and I both have all of our mothers. I say all of them because we've got two on his side and one on uh, my side. And uh, we're real fortunate to have them still with us. But I know that's not the case for everybody. Hey, Judy. I'm trying to see who else over there on YouTube. Let me know. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let me see here what we've got. Um, it's going to be too short. And I've gone ahead. I've um, gone ahead and prepped this with foam. And um, I ended up. I all I had were really small um, foam inserts that wasn't quite large enough. And so I just wedged a little bit of extra foam in there just to be sure that it's not going to be going anywhere. It's in there really secure. And um, these uh, cones, I think I've got something, one of the stakes I can show you. Yeah. But they've got this hole there on the bottom. Not all the way through, but um, anyway, you just put this and then you could stake it down in the ground. And actually, if you wanted to, this bottom comes off too. And of course, it's not going to come off easily, but so I'm not going to do that. But it does come off <laughs> if you wanted to. So, all right. Hey, Jerry and Teresa. Thank you for being here. My glue's not quite warm enough yet. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and. Um, Now we do these just a little bit different than we do ordinary arrangements. Um, number one is the materials, and um, you've got to think about the weather, of course. You don't want anything too large that's going to, you know, act like a, a a kite and take off with your arrangement down through the cemetery. 
down there a little bit further. So how is everybody tonight? Let me know what you're up to. Just going to start down here at the bottom. But that arrangement or that um, headstone saddle, we made that in my um, recent workshop. And I'm, we made a couple of cone arrangements, but I didn't um, make one to match that. Now I've got an inquiry about that. So that's what we're doing tonight. And um, although my workshop is over, if you are so inclined and interested in doing the workshop, it still is available with a replay. So I did put it, go ahead and put a link there in case you're interested. And we did, um, in that you learned how to do a cemetery saddle. We do, um, i trying to think what all we did. We did a large funeral spray. Actually, it's right behind that. Uh, patriotic wreath there. Um, we did two cone arrangements. We did, or two different types of cone arrangements, I should say. We did um, a cemetery wreath, which I think that was one of my favorites. And uh, then we did a cemetery cross also out of florals. I don't know if you can see, you can see the bottom of it over there. I haven't got everything listed from it yet. From the workshop, but, but anyway, we had a good time. We really did. Hey, Barbara, how are you? And Betty, thank you for being here. And there's Jenny. Okay, and Jenny's wanting to know where we get the vases. And um, I got this from a wholesaler, but um, just about any place that sells artificial florals should probably have something, if not the exact same thing, pretty similar. I know um, our local Hobby Lobby has a, um, has a green version. I don't know if it has the little base on the bottom, but I know they have a green version. So like I said, we are going to be making this arrangement to go with this. Uh, headstone saddle. I just noticed one of my flowers is missing off of this um, bush, but that's okay. We'll, we're going to go with it. What's everybody weather like tonight? Tell you, we have had the wind, and it's cold. It's a cold wind. <laughs> I'm about ready for summer to come. I don't know about you guys. I haven't even put any flowers out yet this year because it's just been so doggone cold. We were down in the 30s two nights ago, so I don't hardly want to. I don't hardly want to put my um, you know, my flowers out and then it freeze. I'm not gonna be tall enough. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to get a taller one. This one's a little looks just a little borderline. There, this one's longer. Hey, Susie, how are you? Hey, Leah, you're back. <laughs> how are you doing? Like I said, it's going to be pink and white, just like the or the saddle. I'm hoping I have enough fillers. I thought I had more than I did when I got started on this, but and there I've already borrowed off of this vase or off of this bush. 
Do you guys do that? Do you guys have half-used um, supplies all around your workshop? I just don't want anything to go to waste, so I ended up saving it. If I don't use it all, I save it, and I use it for something else. Okay, let me find a little longer one here. That's just a nice one. Wendy, 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 I know. Yeah, I saw that, Leah. I saw that. That was near Springfield. I saw that. That's terrible. But you know what surprised me about that was I wouldn't have thought. I mean, we've gotten a, we've had a lot of rain, and uh, it's just been kind of damp. So I was kind of surprised, unless it was on sand, you know, for for a dust storm to, to develop. Unless it was on sand, then I guess that's understandable. My, my um, home growing up, we were on sand, and I mean, we could get a downpour in one minute and go out and it'd be completely dry in the next. So that's the only thing I can figure. Which wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility since, I mean, Springfield's not all that far away from where we live. But yeah, I saw that. Hey, Gloria. Cool and breezy in Georgia. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. That's supposed to be nice down there. So who else is making anything for um, memorial services or cemeteries, funerals? Anybody else do that? I really think it's an underserved market, to be honest. That's why I did the workshop. And uh, like I said, we had a ball in it. It was the first time I had done the workshop for that. So I wasn't quite sure how it would be received, but we it was really nice. Really nice. I'm ready to do another one. I may have to go back and get some more flowers. Like I said, I did not realize that I'd already stolen off of this um, this one bush. Looking good. So is anybody out there, any of you guys started on fall yet? I told everybody in my design group, I was like, you know, when May gets here, be ready. But I'm not ready. Not quite yet. I got too many things for summer I want to do. Put this in just a little bit further. Okay. Made a couple of angel wings. That's nice. I have one, but I've never gone ahead and used it. All your 58 years. I know. I know. I haven't either. I haven't either. Oh goodness, you have to do 40 arrangements uh, for cemeteries every year. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot, Jenny. Holy cow. Okay, 
Let me see here now. Like I said, I'm hoping I have enough flowers. This one I need to fix. I got a my stems coming out the top here. It's an easy fix though. Actually, it's a better it's a better fix now than it was, I think. Hey, Valerie, how are you? Okay, let's see. Let's get back to work here. I'll turn this around after I get it done on this side. Oops, hit me. alternating here. Some of these have a bud on them too, so I'm trying to work around those. Like I said, I think I might have to go and get that the other bushes. one over here. Then I'll turn it around for you. Hey Linda and Lynn and Libby all right in a row there. They are um, really nice and they're um, color fast. I got it from a wholesaler. I'm going to need to order some, some more. I hadn't ordered these before and um, I just got a bunch of them for the workshop. Well, I say a bunch of them. I only got the minimum for my workshop uh, because I wanted to see what they were first. I learned a long time ago to order in small quantities if you're not sure. And I wasn't sure what they were going to look like. But they, I was really pleased. Okay, all right, so that's what we got so far. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And I am going to go and get another bush because all the rest of them, except for this one, have that little bud on them. And I need the full, actually, I need more of the white too. I will be right back. These are not the same. Hang on. Okay, now, sorry 
sorry about that. What is everybody watching as far as a series nowadays? We've ran through all about all the usual ones, the, you know, the popular ones like Yellowstone. Um, what's that other one? Eighteen twenty-five. Uh, what else? Try and think what we watched recently. Tulsa King. But we are needing. Some more good movies to or movies or series to watch. You guys help me out here. <laughs> Dubs gets a little cranky when he doesn't have something good to watch on TV. Like I don't know why I always feel responsible to make sure that. He has what he needs to watch on TV, so. Okay, let's put a few more of these off. These are, these uh, pink flowers are from Hobby Lobby. I really like them. They had them in white and um, pink. I think they had a yellow and possibly a hot pink, but they're really pretty. There's another one that needs repaired. What are you guys watching on TV or like Netflix? We have Netflix, we have Prime, we have, um, what's the other one? There's one more, I can't think of what it is. Carolyn, DD. Hey, Dorothy, how are you? I guess YouTube TV is what the other one I was trying to think of. That's what I do, Leah. Oh, you like the ghost shows? I can't watch anything scary, or and I don't like to watch bloody. I don't like to watch if it has to do with horses. I don't like to do if it has to do with medicine. <laughs> Does that sound terrible? But it's true. On the medicine and the horse ones, I always, um, I'm always critiquing. It makes my husband irritated. It's like, um, you know, I know what real life is like with the horses and with the, um, you know, medical part of it. And so I'm critiquing it, and he doesn't like that. I'm trying to get this tag off. pink one.
Okay, so that's what we have so far. All right, now I'll start filling in. Look here. So let's just drop those in a little bit closer. All right. Oh, you don't have a dishwasher, Dorothy? I didn't for the longest time, but I do have one now. There's an air flower head miss missing off of this one. I always tell everybody in the design uh, group to be sure to check your supplies, but I'm not very good at it. It's one of those do as I say kind of things, you know. It's going to be too short. Let me see. Benita, how are you tonight? Oh, you're watching me as I as you do the dishes. Well, I'm glad to help you pass the time, Dorothy. Okay, Let's this around this way. Another one of those tall ones. I thought I cut two off. I did. Hey, Terry. Start getting to this point, and then you start running out of room as far as um, in the center there, because everything's going into the, the middle. Start running out of places, but your stems. Just start filling in here. Thank you, Marilyn. How are you tonight? Yeah, it's to go with a uh, saddle we made in our workshop a couple weekends ago. Cut that one a little bit too short. Let me see if I got another longer one.
I like doing these kinds of designs. They're relaxing to me. Oh, thank you, Barbara. I do too. I like the softness of it. Kind of a soft pink. Very appropriate for Mother's Day. I've got a really pretty purple and yellow bush too that I need to use. I almost pulled it out, but I wanted I needed to get this done instead. bit of white. We'll be in business. Some of these flowers are kind of oblong, kind of squashed. You just got to hold them for a little bit. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Vanita. On the stand. Yeah, we did this in my uh, design group yesterday. I think it's really cute. Very vibrant. I love that character. That's from uh, Derica's design. She just does great work. Okay, that's too short. Let's see if I can find another one here. Got that one all shaped nicely, and now it's too short. Oh, thank you, Sharon. So you guys, did anybody tell me any shows to watch? We need help. We need help finding a good TV show. Hey Jane, hey Zuli, how are you? Okay. Oh, I need another pink one. I really want to use this one. Whoops. So I'm going to have to put a pick on it to make it tall enough. It's just a little bit too short. I just stuck that right there just to, I didn't realize I had that hole there. So Jane, do you have any new babies, any new grandbabies to tell us about? We got one more in the oven. Okay, here's. One more. We've got one due in um, August, toward the end of August. Another little boy. Let me put a pick on this one, too. Some of them um, I cut off too short. Some of them. That's all the stem they had, but I need a little bit longer. Okay, I'm going to start filling now. Well, no, 
made white right there, I think. White. Okay, now I'm going to start adding some fill. That's what we've got so far. Hey, Frida, how are you? Trudy? Okay, let's see. Let's put a little bit of greenery in. Trying to find some of these I've got cut down from the workshop. Some in here. Hey, Phyllis. I'm just, all I'm doing right now is just filling in holes. Got one more in here. Check it over here. Oh, got one more. Uh -oh, 
Sounds like I got a visitor coming. Hear him back there. The dogs just today starting to recover from having grand my granddaughter here this weekend. Looks like he's finally back to normal. Okay, I think that's good on the greenery. You see that here. Oh, thank you, Barbara. That's sweet of you to say. Thank you. And don't discount just making it for your home or um, or friends. You know, I did that for a long, long time. And I still, um, and just recently started putting my uh, um, memorial arrangements up for sale. Um, in fact, I think I only have two things in my shop right now. I get, need to get the rest of it listed. But, um, you know, that I mean, th think of it. What a special tribute, right? To be able to make things on your own like that. Oh, I don't know why I'm cutting those. I don't want to cut those. I want my fillers. Not paying attention. Got talking to you and <laughs> got distracted. But uh, here again, I don't have very much of this left at all. I'm probably going to have to just put in what I have and um, then finish it tomorrow after I can go to Hobby Lobby. This, I tell you what, you guys, this is a, usually a really full bush, but you cannot beat this filler. They just call it a plastic bush or plastic flower. Um, but it comes in a, a few different colors, and I use a ton of it. And it's great for um, you know, cemetery arrangements because it's plastic, and it looks pretty realistic. I mean, people are all the time. I hear people discounting the the plastic um, greeneries and that, but there's no reason to discount it anymore. It's not like what what you know, grandma used to have. I can say that now that I'm a grandma, <laughs> right? I think this is going to be a little bit too long. Uh, Melinda's asking, did Hobby Lobby go from 50% off every other week for uh, florals to 40 instead? Yes. Yes, they did. Um, and, you know, you can't blame them. I mean, everything's higher. I mean, I went to buy some, uh, or so, to order some um, shipping boxes today, and one shipping box is like $3 more than what I used to be. So I, I know everybody has... Um, you know, their operating costs have increased a lot. But, yeah, that was painful. I was hoping it was just a, like a regional thing when I heard that, but it's at our, they did it again this week here. I'm just watching the dog. He's on the trail of something, investigating or something. Hopefully he didn't find anything. The other day we were, I was down here getting ready to um, do a tutorial in our group, my design group. Actually, that wreath right there. And um, found a stink bug. Do you guys get stink bugs where you live? No, oh, that's going to be too short. I was trying to stretch this, but it's too short.
Okay, I've got another bush too. This is another Hobby Lobby bush that I use a lot. It's really nice. That'll work. What are you doing over there, Casey? I might like this one better than I do that other one in this. Can you see it? There's the other one. I'm going to pull those others out. I like that one a lot better. I'll save that for something else. you have those two? Oh, you were confused, Melinda. I know. I know, but it's, I saw some stuff. I can't remember. Something I wasn't interested in was still had the 50% off um, this week. But no, the florals were 40. Which it made it a lot easier to calculate, too. Like whenever you're trying to calculate the cost of something, you know, a project or something. It'd be a lot easier to calculate in your head. I like that a lot better. Can you see that down in there? Oh, you'll be checking Michaels. We don't we don't have Michaels here. I wish we did. But we don't have Michaels. Um, so I can't I can't answer to that. I get there every now and then when I go out of town I usually will stop in. I do like their stuff. I get the um, if I can't get local Grapevines, that's where I get them a lot of times. One more of this bush. I've got more of this, though. Just around the corner over there. Actually, I'm going to put a pick on this. How smart I'd bring that over here closer. Let me get some more of that. There's a few staples I always have, on, or well, I try to have on hand. This is one of them. This one and that other one, but used almost all of it yesterday. Yeah, I, I see some, some things I like better at Michael's, some things I like better at Hobby Lobby. I 
uh, Hobby Lobby and Michael's the same price? I don't know, um, Dorothy. I just don't know. Um, like I said, I don't have uh, Michael's here, so I can't answer to that. Are they roses? Um, they these are. I have roses and um, peonies. The pink ones they call peonies. Raise the bin down, and the um, white ones are roses. Just going around, like I said, filling in holes. We're getting pretty close to the end, though. Let's push some of this greenery down in there. There's better stuff to see. Some of it I'm going to pull up. Just kind of, again, filling in the holes. Looks pretty good. Oh, there's a place right there. Okay, I think we're done. We're done. Barbara says her uh, Michaels is more expensive than Hobby Lobby. I went what to one? Um, where were I? Or where was I? I was in Texas. That's where I was. And um, yeah, I agree. It it was more expensive. Hey, Jeannie, Kathy. Oh, and there's Connie. How are you? Thank you, Valerie. Oh, you're welcome, Dorothy. But yeah, like I said, I wanted to, to make a set. As I said, this was what we, um, this, whoops. This is the saddle that we had um, made in the workshop, so. Greenery is just a little bit different, or the filler is just a little bit different, but I think I like that one better. I'll be using that next time. I don't know why I'm not seeing all the comments. I've got two pulled up. One says one thing, one says the other. Like Deborah, I didn't see you there. I didn't see you, Ethel May. Oh, so you're having hot weather, Ethel May. Yeah, Terry, we did. We looked at that Schist Creek, and I just couldn't get on board with it. Lo Ozark, we loved. Yes, we loved that one. Even though I'm not a fan of all the, you know, the bloody kind of stuff, but 
Hey, DD. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. But yeah, I've got Facebook pulled up two different places, and they both look different. I don't understand. YouTube's reliable. <laughs> that's what they are like. <laughs> so, all right. Well, that's all I had for you tonight. As like I said, I needed to get that done. I just wanted to pop in here and um, do something a little different tonight. But um, I do have these listed. I, I don't have them listed as a set yet. I'll take a photo together probably tomorrow, weather permitting. But I did put a link uh, in my Etsy shop, uh, just a little, um, it just says made on Facebook or made on live video. And if you were interested in purchasing this, they said it'd be a great arrangement for Mother's Day, I think. And get all these flowers back even and rounded. So, Ted Lasso. You know, I was asking my husband about that. I hear everybody talking about that Ted Lasso. I don't know what that is. And he didn't either, but we may have to check that out then. Hey, Maria. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Kathy and Bonnie. How are you? Okay. All right, well, that's all I have for you tonight. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this evening. I really appreciate it. And um, I did put a link if you're interested in, like I said, our workshop live part is over, but you can always uh, join in on the replay. I've got handouts. I've got um, a, a little book in there, a, a guidebook. I've got uh, some diagrams and such uh, to help you with uh, memorial arrangements. and. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, send me an email. I'll be happy to help you as best I can. And uh, have a great rest of your evening. I'll catch you next time.